We have an out-of-this-world opportunity this morning. Astronaut Joe Lindgren has spent a lot of time in our area. Well, now he is living and working in space, and NASA is making Chell available live from the International Space Station this morning. I remind you, since this is live from space, there will be a significant delay. All right, Chell, we spoke before you went up to space. Tell me about that journey up there. Well, thank you so much uh, for having me this morning. You know, that uh, the trip on the rocket was amazing. Uh, that's the first time that I've had the opportunity to do that. Um, and what an amazing feeling to uh, finally make it into microgravity. The, the rocket ride itself was pretty thrilling, but making it into weightlessness uh, was terrific. And that's what I want to know. How do you adjust to life without gravity? Have you got it down yet, Tell? Well, it is, it's a lot of fun to be up here. You know, I think when people think about living and working in space, of course, uh, weightlessness is, is the first thing you think of. It's so much fun to float. You know, we're getting pretty good around, about moving around the space station without crashing into too many things. Um, but uh, it's also challenging, you know, when you're working with tools and you're <laughs> working with equipment, uh, you have to find a place to hook onto the floor. Um, so that you don't float away. And any time that you open a bag, everything wants to float out, uh, whether it's food or, uh, or pieces of equipment. And so that can be very challenging sometimes. All right, let's talk about the food. You were among the first to eat the vegetables in space. Be honest, Chell, how did they taste? You know what, I do enjoy a, um, a salad every once in a while on the ground, and so um, it actually tasted pretty good, especially once we uh, were able to put a little bit of uh, um, balsamic uh, vinegar on it. Um, you know, the really exciting thing about uh, growing that lettuce, though, <laughs> was one, that we were able to grow food up here that we could eat, um, and then number two, you know, just the psychological benefits of growing something, watching it grow, um, having this uh, green color in what's otherwise a fairly sterile environment uh, was also um, very, I think, psychologically beneficial. All right, uh, Scott is up there, a year in space. How's he holding up? You know, Scott is uh, is doing a terrific job. He had we actually hit his uh, halfway mark yesterday, and so we're kind of on the downhill side, which is still another six months. Okay. But uh, he's doing a terrific job. I think he really started this mission with the expectation that was gonna, he was going to be up here for a full year, and uh, so I think that he has the right mindset, um, the right pace, uh, and uh, and he's doing a terrific job. Um, not only in his own work, but uh, in mentoring Kimia and I as uh, new, new space flyers. I know you have some family in our area. How do you keep in touch with them? And this is your turn. Do you want to say anything to them, any message? You bet. Well, of course, my, my uh, parents live in uh, the Northern Virginia area, so I'll say hi, Mom and Dad. Um, I also have uh, lots of, I graduated from high school, uh, from Robinson uh, Secondary High School in, in Fairfax, Virginia, and so I have lots of friends that are still out there. Um, you know, this is an amazing place to, to live and work, and one of the real benefits of being up here right now um, in this modern age is that uh, we have a whole suite of tools that we can use to communicate with the ground. Email, we have an internet phone uh, that I, we can use to call friends and family, and then I get a teleconference uh, once a week with my family in Houston. Nice. Well, and, uh, and now you're speaking with us live here on the ground. So, Chell, it's been fascinating. I love all of the pictures that you've been posting on social media. Best of luck. We'll be watching you as you continue your journey. Thank you so much for uh, letting me spend some time with you this morning. Of course. We'll talk to you soon. Uh-oh, look at that. He was doing a backflip. You go, Chell. You got it down. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Coming up, giving a voice.